Clap one more time! By show of hands, how many of you believe that climate change and global warming are a big issue that the Earth is currently facing? Well, my name is Connor, and through this ad for climate change, I will be explaining how it, um, how it fulfills the definition of rhetoric. In order for you to understand how my entire pack fulfills the definition of rhetoric, I'll be explaining how it, one, shapes knowledge, and two, builds community. First, in order for you to understand how my artifact fulfills the definition of rhetoric, I'll be explaining how it shapes knowledge. A main function of social rhetoric is that rhetoric shapes knowledge, and many people's beliefs are shaped through rhetoric as well. Mm -hmm. This can be done through things such as political campaigns, advertisements, TV, show, TV shows, etc. And when learning about new knowledge or when rhetoric is shaping knowledge, people often draw on what they know and draw on their background information and things that they learned in the past. For example, if a kid grew up in the Deep South, when they were growing up, they most likely heard a lot of conservative rhetoric, whether that was through conservative advertisements, conservative political campaign speeches, whereas a kid that grew up in the Bay Area of California most likely grew up with liberal advertisements, liberal political campaigns, etc. Therefore, when they are now receiving knowledge from a rhetorical device or source, they are being shaped by those background experiences. When it comes to this advertisement, human it's showing that humans control climate change. There, as you can see, there's a thermostat on the Earth, and it's basically using our background knowledge of thermostats, which may sound ridiculous, but it's using our background knowledge of thermostats and how you can easily switch them and change them to show that this is a problem that we all have control over and that we can easily change it. There's also options to change and eliminate the effects of climate change at the bottom, such as turn down, switch off, recycle. And these are all easy facts and activities that are shaping our knowledge of ways that we can fix climate change. Second, in order for you to understand how my artifact fulfills the definition of rhetoric, I will be explaining how it builds community. Another main function of social rhetoric is that rhetoric builds community. And as seen in the overview of rhetoric reading that we read, many Americans are starting to lose that sense of community that oh. we once had a long time ago. But rhetoric helps to negate this. Um, as seen throughout history, uh, rhetoric has built community in many ways, such as through the Civil Rights Act um, with Dr. With Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. He used rhetoric to get people to rally behind something and to build a community for something to believe in. And through this advertisement, they are also getting people to rally behind something and building a community of people that want to eliminate climate change. Again, with the thermostat, we all know what it is, and so we all sort of see it, and we think, well, now we have to sort of band together and fight climate change. And it's basically putting the blame on us, and that blame is creating a community, and it's making us want to take action. In conclusion, I have, ex in order for you to understand how my artifact fulfills the definition of rhetoric, I explained how it shapes knowledge and builds community, and maybe through this Maybe through this climate change ad, the rhetoric of this climate change ad, you will now think twice when you take a shower or try to help your.